in your heart because right now the human heart doesn't want to seek after God. That's right. Come on now. Some of y'all got to admit, your basic desire isn't to seek after God. Amen. To get in a dark room by yourself. Amen. 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 Dark room by yourself. Nobody in there but you. And you just stay there pursuing something you can't see. That's not normal. Right. Come on, say that's not normal. That's not normal. Just today, I, I, you know, I spent a lot of time in the prayer room today, and I drove to work late, got to work about 1 o'clock. And man, as I was driving down the highway, I was saying, I was driving down the road, I said, man, I got to deal with this. This is two worlds. It's two different worlds. You spend four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hours in prayer, then you got to deal with, with people. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, the closer I get to God, I don't want to deal with people. Amen. 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 I love being alone with God. All right? Therefore, your, your, your prayer must be for God to pray. Listen to this, this is the prayer you got to pray. Your prayer must be. For God to break the power of everything in your heart that keeps you from seeking after God with all your heart. There are some stuff in our hearts that don't want us to seek after God. Amen. We got to pray God, break that. Amen. We got to ask God to break that. Come on, let, let, let's look at Psalms 27. Really quick, I'm going to show you, show, show you the spirit of what I'm trying to convey to you. Turn to Psalms 27. Psalms 27. David arrived at this in Psalms 27. Let's start at verse number 4. David said, watch this. Here's a secret of God. He said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I what? Seek God. That will I what? Seek God. He's talking about seeking God. Watch. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. How long? Well, Let me tell you, saints, look at me. That's how long it's going to take y'all. So I'm going to take you. <laughs> All right? All the days of my life to do what? To do what? Behold. To behold the beauty of the Lord. David saw something in the temple that most folk had never seen, that most of us have never seen. David, when he was seeking God, that something that David was after that drove him to the house of God, that he said, man, it's one thing that I desire of the Lord, and that when I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Why? Why? To behold the beauty of the Lord. It's something God showed him in there. And he said, man, that keeps bringing me back. I'm telling you, when you have one and real encounter with God, it will change you forever. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with Christians today, most Christians have never had a real encounter with God. Right. And I'm not talking about just getting the Holy Ghost. That's the start. Come on. That's why I tell we tell folks all the time. When you speak in tongues, that's the start. Right. Yeah. right. But but God, if God really deals with you, He reveals Himself to you on any level, it will set a passion in you that will never end. Yeah. That's what happened uh huh. He said to behold the beauty of the Lord is something God showed him that made him say, wow, it's got to be more where that came from. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lord, I'm getting stirred up in here. Look at somebody and tell him, tell him, tell Jesus we come at it. Tell Jesus we come at Tell him that we come as strong. And we ain't stopping. We gonna be like Jacob. God I ain't letting you go till you bless me. You can pull my, you can pull my hip out of socket. You can make me cross-eyed, bow-legged, bald-headed. I don't care what you do. I ain't stopping till I see you like you really are. Come on. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because I do this stuff. That's right. Where folk think you stupid. They think you crazy. They think you off. Because right. you always in some room talking about you heard from God. Right. I've been there. Still there. Let's keep reading. Watch this. He said that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Here are the reasons he gives us. 